you probably got this question before. But what's the difference of guarding somebody like Kobe and LeBron, and who's the toughest to guard? Well, it depends on the player and your size, because you know if you're if you're a smaller guy, you're gonna struggle with LeBron because he's strong and he's pulling over you, and uh, he has strength uh, at his advantage. Um, same with Melo. You know, Melo's one of the hardest guys for me to guard. I mean, I would pick him as the hardest guy to guard. Because if he can take it to the basket, he has right? a that's fine. Quick first step. And you have to respect his mid range jump shot. It's kind of like pick your poison. You know, he's going to get to the line, he's going to get to the hole. He has a shot that he's 85% clip at. Uh, so you kind of have to. You have to do things before those guys touch the ball. That's what it's more about. It's about position, point of attack, uh, going where he helps out defense is. It's more of a mindset more than anything. You think Melo has been giving you the hardest time, or he's like the toughest uh, guy of all the people you got? I don't know if he's got the best of me out of all the guys. Yeah. I just like playing against him because he's yeah. the hardest. He is he, the hardest. He is the hardest. hardest. He's the hardest guard. He's just then he, Melo has some little grit to him, so he can get a little dirty. He'll bow you in the face and then act like he did on accident. So I like. Playing. Who's the toughest guy you ever played against? <laughs> toughest guy I ever played against. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's a lot of guys, but the guy that always gave me the most problems actually was Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady? Yeah, yeah. No, Tracy McGrady, about man. The... Tracy McGrady with his, you know, he, he had all the skills and all the athleticism, um, but he was 6'9". And he was really, really tough to figure out. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not so, and two, for the starstruck part of it, you know, you just said when you play Mike, you can't sleep the next night. You know, for me, Rasheed Wallace was a tough guard. Right. Him and Timmy Duncan, right. yeah, stand and use angles. She shot the ball super high. Yeah. When you play with other great players, it kind of takes that steam. You're still looking forward to playing whoever you're playing against, mm -hmm. but that, you know, that, I don't want to call it nervousness, but because you ready, uh, yeah. but that nervousness before the night kind of subsides, right? So Absolutely. Right. Hardest player to guard. That's a good one. Which one do you think? In the NBA right now. Hardest player to guard right now in the NBA. Right now? Yes. You, baby, you. Yeah, of course you're going to say me. Um, probably go with... Uh, I, I got to go with James Harden. Uh, Who's the toughest player you've gone up against? LeBron. Yeah, it's LeBron here for sure. First game, he definitely was trying to make a stand. And then, you know, once I played him the first time we, we went to Cleveland, I kind of, uh, you know, had a feel for the game. And I was, you know, I wasn't worried about that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> who who is the hardest person? I, it's it's a goal. It's I I give him a mix. I get I get Dame. He up there. Dame uh, people dog. don't give him enough respect. Dame though. dog. Like I tried to say this to y'all though. You talking? He's saying he, man. Listen. Dame Dollar is a problem. problem. He's tough. Is a pro and I think it's because he way up in the Pacific Northwest, and you know that Portland, they maybe don't get enough exposed. I don't know. I watch him anyway on the league pass and all that, so that ain't no excuse for me. I know, I know work when I see work, mm -hmm. and I'm talking about he one of them, and I don't know why he don't really get to just do like that because he. He cold as any of them. He and, as cold as any of them. And he and he cold within an offense they run too. Like yeah. they don't run like, you know, everything ain't you know, he got the ball and everything, but everything ain't for him. Yeah. And they he run CJ the, right the there flares too. and the down screens. Like you put Dame just get him to rock. Yeah. Like, and he just facilitates. You know what I'm saying? You put Dame runs. in Golden State, you know what I'm saying? Put Dame in and in, in, in Houston Rockets type of offense. I mean, that's no yeah. disrespect to uh to their coach yeah. or their system or anything, but I mean, I think only people getting a little bit of taste of how dang I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, he really played good. for a Dan Tony, bro. Oh, my it God. Yeah. 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 People don't know about system like that. Sometimes <laughs> a system can water down a player that a player could have been yeah. great at. And he ain't even watered down. He, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 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 So if he was in another system, just imagine. But, yeah, I say Dame. I say, um, I say uh, Kimba. But, again, you oh, know, yeah. due to the, you know, Due to you know what's around him, you hey, we going in, we trapping him you know, every, time. every time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> every time. Uh, I I put I put got to put Russ up there, cause, like you because you don't know what you go get from Russ, and that's yeah. the thing. Like Russ can, he can go cold for five games, and you play him, and he hit five threes, and you look like <laughs> oh man, you know what I'm saying? So I put yeah, I put them three, yeah, for sure, yeah. Get a little more. <laughs> You would study guys. You know, I, I read about how you would watch videos of Kobe over and over and over again. Um, who 
Who did you think? I, I, everybody always asks you, like, who is your toughest? I know the answer is Kobe. Who was the guy you knew was like, shit, I don't want to deal with Tony Allen tonight? Yo, 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 yo. I'm, I, I've been waiting on somebody to ask me that again because ain't nobody asked me that. Well, everybody been telling me who I am. You know what I'm saying? So it's funny you say that, man, but uh, I got to shine some light on, on Flash. On Flash. I got I to gotta shine some light on Flash, you know? Uh, although Kobe is Kobe, you know, big respect to Kobe. But I just think, when I used to go against my hometown, uh, you know, co-worker, D-Wade at the time, good brother of mine too, uh, I thought he was always trying to go at my head. And I thought it was my duty to try to stop him. And boy, was he tough. He gets to that line. He slags. He wasn't just your typical superstar where he just catch it in the post or catch it on the wing and just go to work. You know, he used the pick and roll. Sometimes he would uh, be in the offense if he can't get his shot going off the pull-up. Backdoor cuts. You got to be aware of a superstar staying this active, watching the um offensive rebound. You might come tip dunk. You, you get what I'm saying? Uh, and I thought like every time that I got a chance to play, he performed, and uh, it was difficult. I don't know the numbers. I ain't no analytical guy. I told you I grit and grind, but I know for a fact if I could look at the numbers for sure, du Dwayne Wade, man. He he used to, he used to give me fits, man, and I thought it was it was real, uh, it was like a, a real a great feeling when we. Sang.